Hey, good afternoon, Jim. Wayne Garib here with Blue Digital. I told you that I would put together a short video to kind of take a look at your website and compare to one of your top competitors to see what they're doing that's uh, that's got them ranking uh, higher than you within Google's algorithms. Uh, possibly they're getting more phone calls. We want you to get the phone calls. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, it's, it's only going to be a short, you know, seven, eight, ten minute video. But I want to start out. This is your website here. And as we talked the other day, you know, we, we talked a little bit about some certain things. But I want to get a little bit more detailed right now. So here's how we're going to go about this. So first off, I want to go to Google just like anybody else would. And they're going to type in this term right here. This is the most searched term uh, that has to do with foundation repair in Birmingham currently. And I'll show you a little bit more about that here in just a moment. So when somebody types this in, and you, you know what's going on with a lot of this stuff. I can tell just from speaking with you. So you understand this stuff. So you type this in, you come up, you got your ads here, which I understand you are also running ads. Uh, you have an ad budget. We come down here, we've got the Google My Business section, which I'm going to talk about also. And then we've got the organic section. This person's in first spot, Home Advisor, AFS, and two, and so on. Three is RAM, BBB, Bob. And then at the bottom, we've got more ads. And you're obviously right here in your ads on the bottom. So one of the things I want to start off with and let you know, and you may know some of this, uh, statistically, about 30% of the people that search a term, this one for instance, about 30% of the people are going to choose an ad right here. Now the remaining 70% of those individuals are going to choose either from the Google My Business section or the organic. Out of that remaining 70%, about 70% of those will choose from this Google My Business. So this is an extremely important area to be in. People, myself included, if I have to scroll down more than about right here, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to choose another keyword. So anyway, having said that, this is where we started off. I typed in Foundation Repair Birmingham AL just so that I could see who are we going to look at to see who is your competitor. And we're not going to mess with Home Advisor. That's nothing. But right here you go, AFS. So they are in the number two position organically. So if we go to, there they are right there. That's their website. So we're going to compare their website to your website and some of the metrics to see why they are number two and you are not and what you need to do to get up to number two or number one. So we use a third party tool. So let's start out with uh, three things I'm going to talk about basically. I'm going to talk about content. I'm going to talk about backlinks and organic keywords. And then I'm going to talk about citations, just those three things. Now, there's obviously a lot more that goes into this, as you know. But these three things I can touch on right off the bat and, and make some suggestions for you. Content, as I mentioned the other day to you, Google wants to see 1,000 to 1,500 words on the homepage. You know, and this is what we're talking about is content, stuff like that. Uh, your homepage, it's, it's a good looking page, but there's not a lot of content. And you see right there. That's gone. So let's go take a look at your competitor, see what they've got. So he's got some content in here. We've got a little bit more here. More. And see, so his continues on. So he's got a good bit of content on his first page. So right there, that's something right off the bat that you could do to enhance uh, your position within Google's eyes. The other thing that I was talking to you about was uh, Google is looking for uh, authority websites. You know, they want to know that the content that's in these websites is actually helping the consumer. So the more authoritative your site, the more uh, instructional, if you will, the, the higher that Google will, will rank that in their, in their spiders that are crawling around. So that's content right there off the bat. So that's real easy to fix. Uh, obviously, there's some keywords, which we'll talk about in a minute, that need to be put in there. And then, let's see here. So let's find out how you're ranking here on this dashboard here. Hang tight with me just for a quick second. 
I'm going to pull up your site. Okay, here we go. This is there again. This is a third party tool that we use to kind of identify and look at some of the metrics. The DR is a domain rating, which you may know what that means. That's basically a score that Google gives uh, a website ranked from zero to 100. Obviously, the higher the number, the more powerful the site is. You're ranking at a 2.3. Uh, your competitor is ranking with a 27. And so let's see. So let's go back to let's go back to yours. And okay, it looks like you've got uh, seven referring domains or or sites that have backlinks on it. Backlinks are like votes, uh, and all backlinks are not created equal. Uh, you've got seven backlinks here, depending on where they are. Let's take a look here real quick. We won't spend a lot of time. These are the different blogs or websites where your backlinks are situated. Uh, some of them probably, well, you can look over here. Some of them are do follow means that they, they are being followed. Some are not. Uh, the actual traffic that the site gets, some of it's very low. So you're not getting a lot of power out of your backlinks right off the bat. Uh, let's go back over here. Let's take a look at your competitor on their backlinks. They've got nine, but obviously theirs are, are very powerful backlinks. That's giving them this 27 domain rating right here. Uh, they've got 35 organic keywords. You have 10. So let's take a look at your keywords real quick, Jim. Okay. Right here's the main one. It shows there's approximately 150 people every month searching that term right there. Uh, and then what else you got? You got Foundation Pro, obviously your name. Pro Repair, Quality Repair, Pro Services, Foundation Services. If you'll notice, the only keyword that you have in your entire website that is Birmingham specific is this one. All of these others will be, well, for instance, Foundation Services. 250 people every month search that term Foundation Services, but that's nationwide. So it's really not helping a whole lot. Now you want them in there, don't get me wrong, but that's a nationwide term. If you don't have the word Birmingham or Birmingham AL, it's a, it's a nationwide term. So those numbers are really small if you're thinking about nationwide people searching that. Let me show you something here real quick, the keywords that you could have in here. Let's go down here. Let's go over here. These are all the keywords that you should have in there. All of these right here. See, they got Birmingham Foundation for 10 people a month are looking for that. Uh, Foundation Repair Birmingham, Alabama, another 10 people. Waterproofing, 70 people. But you'll notice that I've got Alabama or Foundation Specialists in Birmingham, 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 Alabama. So you want to have all, and you can total up all these these volume numbers, it gets to a pretty good size number of people actually looking for foundation and or waterproofing in Alabama and in Birmingham. So that's really where you need to get is get a lot of these keywords into your sites. So let me go back over here to your site again. Just bear with me here. Got to get you back over here. I lost you for a minute, buddy. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. All right, so anyway, that's the difference, just in a nutshell, taking a look at your site compared to the others. The other site has a lot more content. They have stronger backlinks because, let's face it, they're all not created equal. If you've got a, a link in a Pizza Hut website, it's not doing you no good. It's not apples and apples. Uh, so you want to make sure that your backlinks get put where they need to produce some power for your site. Uh, we talked about organic keywords. You've got 10, and but really only one or two that I would call powerful keywords. And there's about a dozen that we need to have in there. So that gives you a little idea of why your site's not where it's at. So content, backlinks, organic keywords. We can go into that a lot deeper when we talk at, at another time. I just wanted to touch base on some of this stuff. Now, the third thing I want to talk about is our, our citations. Let's go back to 
when I typed in this keyword here and this Google My Business. I'm not sure how much you understand of the Google My Business. Uh, these addresses, phone numbers get put into directories. Uh, the more directories that you actually get into gives you a whole lot more power, which pushes you up to the top and gets you up here into these top three. Uh, there are over 300 different directories that you can apply to get into. Let's take a look and see how many you are actually in. There's another local tool that we use. This is you right here. And it says that you're in 19 directories out of 300. And these are the ones that you are in right now. So there's some good ones, but more is better. In this, in this instance, more is better. So this would be one area that I would continually keep submitting directories, keep submitting, submitting, submitting until you get this thing up to 50, 60, 70, 80, 100, who knows how many you can get, but you don't never quit trying because the more directories you get in, the higher you get up and you get into this section here. And let's face it, this is where the everybody's clicking right here. The only other thing that would help that outside of getting into more directories would be reviews. If you don't have a lot of reviews, then we need to get you a lot of reviews. The more reviews, the better. That's who people are going to click on. So overall, I think, well, let me, let me touch on one last thing before I let you go here, Jim. I notice you've got some service pages and then you've got the blog. I want to show you something here that you're, you're missing out on right off the bat. I mean, this is great. You got all this, these blogs in here, which are pages in and of themselves. That's great. But let's take a look. Save image as this one is named COVID blog. Why not name it one of the keywords? Because Google spiders running around looking at everybody's websites, they don't care how pretty this picture looks. They care about what's it, what's behind it, what's it saved as. Let's look here. Encapsulation. So that's not bad because that's a word that somebody may be looking for. Let's take a look at another one. WC blog. See, I would recommend that you rename every one of these pictures with some sort of keyword because that's just going to give you more power. So we look for the little things that give your site power. So content, better keywords, uh, identify your pictures using keywords, get into more directories, and possibly more reviews. That's going to give you a, a really a big leg up on the competition. Now, if, uh, if you want to talk about how to go about doing this, it's pretty simple. I can put together a scope of work for you, give you some idea what it would take for us to manage this for you. Uh, bottom line is, if we manage this for you and you do the lead generation site that we are already partnering to do, very likely both sites would be right in here. I know that our lead generation site will be up in here before long. It's already up there under the Foundation Repair Birmingham. We're in, I think, the number six spot currently on, let's see here, hang on, let me get you here so I don't lose you. Three, four, five, see right here we are. So we're in the number six spot right now and we're climbing. So. Hang tight. Let's talk next week. If uh, you want to get together and figure out uh, some sort of game plan, we can take a look at it. Uh, if you just want a little advice, I'm fine with that too. So anyway, I hope this helps, Jim. Uh, let's talk Monday or Tuesday, and we'll see where we go from there. Have a good weekend, buddy.